Hello guys, uh, my name is uh, Srini. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I, um, uh, I make um, yeah, a lot of tech videos. Uh, uh, in this series, I thought I would uh, do um, a full series on uh, event-driven systems, uh, message-driven, message event-driven systems. Um, so uh, um, this is this is going to be the first video in that series. We'll talk in detail on the different uh, technologies, including Kafka. Uh, and also um, uh, SNS, SQS, uh, Firehose, and uh, Amazon, uh, Event Grid, Event Bus, uh, and Azure, all those things in detail. Uh, but uh, I'm going to start, this video is going to be uh, on Kafka, so this would be easier to uh, uh, make progression uh, for us as we go through different videos in this series. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, Kafka. Uh, I thought it probably would be more uh, uh, makes more sense if we start with uh, actually Spring Kafka, uh, as most of the developers, most of the companies are using a Spring Kafka. Uh, you don't need a Spring for Kafka. In fact, uh, in, in my view, it's actually easier if you work with Kafka directly. But what I've been noticing is a lot of people are used to Spring Framework these days. So I thought I would uh, uh, do this, we focus this video on, on that and, and we'll talk in detail. Uh, just uh, about Kafka, um, to, uh, so let's get started about Kafka. Um, first thing, uh, you, you, to familiarize yourself if you're not, uh, I'm sure most of you are because it's not new anymore. Uh, you can uh, look at like oh, 10 out of 10 manufacturing companies in 100, 1400 uh, companies, banks, insurance companies, telcos, they've been using Kafka uh, as, as, uh, as they are one of their backbones. You can see the full list of companies uh, that are using uh, Kafka. Uh, this, is not a, 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 this is not a complete comprehensive list, but this gives you an idea of who is you using this New York Times, Pinterest, Readers, you know, Airbnb, uh, Coursera, Cisco. So you can go through all of this stuff and just do, uh, just so you know who is using this. Um, with that said, uh, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, let me actually uh, let me actually bring my Kafka up. Okay, while it's coming up, uh, to to start with the Spring Kafka. Uh, not the, not the uh, Spring uh, Kafka Streams, uh, which is a different component in Spring Cloud Streams. I'm talking about just a straight Kafka. All you have to do is go to the Spring Initializer website, just like any other Spring project. You put all the information you need, you want a Gradle project or Maven project, uh, you select everything. And the only dependency you need to add is basically Spring for Apache Kafka. Click on this and just add uh, uh, Apache. We already have it here. Uh, once you have it, just uh, click on this, you'll download the project. Uh, I already uh, downloaded the project right before this video. Uh, so I'll walk you through that. Uh, let me go to my Kafka tool. Uh, this, is a, this is one sleek tool, by the way, uh, Kafka tool. You can actually visually look at uh, the topics and the different things. You can actually create topics from here, uh, delete topics from here. Uh, for example, uh, this is my topic. Uh, at the moment, there is no data because I didn't produce any data. If uh, there is, you would see it. Uh, you can see different partitions, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of information. Now uh, you'll get to see from there. Okay, so to start this video, uh, let me, I have this project which I downloaded. I have a producer. I'm going to produce a few uh, messages so we can walk through our example, understand it uh, clearly. Uh, this video, I'll be talking about uh, Spring Kafka batch consumer. Uh, batch consumer is a little bit different than regular consumer in Spring. Uh, the, the regular consumer gives you one event at a time. Um, whereas the batch consumer gives you, you know, uh, multiple events in a list at a time. This is especially useful if you are processing uh, huge data volumes. Uh, instead of processing one event at a time, you can process like 10,000 events at a time, maybe 100,000 events at a time. Uh, 
So I'll walk you through all the all the configurations and uh, and everything. But before we get started, let's produce some uh, some data. Uh, I have this producer, just a REST controller, uh, that's going to produce uh, 10,000 events to the to the Kafka topic. Uh, so this is my test topic. At the moment, I don't think I have anything. Okay, uh, and then. You don't have to produce it like this. This is what I'm doing. Uh, there are multiple ways you can produce. There are a lot of uh, simple uh, producers, uh, different systems. Uh, I think it is done now. I should have some data now. Let me see here. I have like uh, 10,000 events. Uh, let's go to the data tab. Let's uh, get data. Uh, as you can see, I have a uh, Test event message zero to you know up to ten thousand, uh, uh, and then uh, you can actually look. Uh, yeah, here you go. You can see it here. We don't have any key right now, uh, but I don't think that's uh, that's necessary for our uh, uh, stuff. Uh, so let's go through this project. Uh, I'll, uh, this is a very simple, basic Spring Kafka project, which uh, with the batch consumer. The first thing you have to do is very simple. Uh, just like any Spring project configuration, you have to configure uh, different things. So basically in Spring Kafka, there are only a few main things. One is the bootstrap server, what's your URL, and uh, what is the consumer group ID. Uh, it's not necessary, it's uh, optional. If you don't provide the group ID, uh, Spring is gonna uh, uh, Spring is gonna uh, come up with the group ID, um, and then uh, serializers, deserializers, that kind of stuff. Even even these are all like you don't need to specify these as well because by default it's a string deserializer, serializers. Uh, so the only thing you have to do is basically three things mostly: uh, bootstrap server, and then uh, your listener. This is where you you're gonna specify a batch or single. Uh, default is single I believe and then what is the topic you're consuming from uh, so so that, that's that's pretty much it uh, in, in this one uh, so that's it as far as uh, configurations uh, are, are concerned uh, the topic uh, whether it's a batch or single and then uh, what are the, your bootstrap URL uh, and then all you have to do is you can just create any class and you basically add this annotation uh, in that class on top of a method and then it will become a Kafka consumer automatically. That's all you have to do. There is nothing else to do. Uh, so in here, uh, for example, because now we configured this as a batch, uh, because we configured this a batch, uh, I wanna I'm gonna run this and uh, show you how that's gonna be working. All right, now we got a breakpoint here. As you can see, we have 200 messages. Uh, the reason for that is because that's the uh, the size we specified here. We said, hey, we want only 200 records. So that's why we got 200 records. Uh, and then you can also see, uh, you'll also get, uh, you can also get a lot of metadata uh, from the headers as well, uh, if you specify these things. Uh, these, are not, these are optional. Uh, if you need, you can add these things. So because the data could be from multiple partitions, you're gonna get a list of partitions for each message, and you're gonna get offsets. For those, uh, so so that, so so that's that's that. But I want to walk you through different uh, this method method signatures uh, because you can get different information. If you, if you look at this right now, all I'm getting is a test message zero, test message one, which is actually the message part of it. I'm not getting any other data besides that. Uh, in in the in my first argument here, right? 
and we are getting these separately. Here you can specify multiple things. Spring automatically is going to provide those things for you. Uh, I want to show you different method signatures, how you can get uh, more data or less data. For example, uh, if you, instead of getting the messages, uh, if you want to get more information, including the metadata, all the metadata that, what you can do is you can actually uh, change this method signature. It's, a, it's actually going to give you, uh, actually going to uh, give you A lot of uh, information. Uh, I also want to change. What I want to do is I also want to uh, change. Let me comment this out. We don't need this now. Uh, I also want to change the batch size from 200. I'm going to make this say 400, for example, and I'm going to run it again. <clears throat> so now we should get 400 records. Right, we got 400 records. Now, instead of getting the message, which is uh, actually the test event message 0, 1, 2, you're gonna get more information because we specified, hey, give me a consumer record. So when you change the method signature, uh, Spring automatically provides you uh, that information. You can specify, hey, give me just a message just message no no I want more than that so in that case you can provide a list of consumer records uh, so it will give you uh, as you can see this is actual message we don't have a key in this one but it will give you a serialized value uh, create time uh, topic name partition information all that stuff as well uh, if you are doing anything uh, uh, anything additional than processing a straight message. Uh, this is one thing. Uh, there is one more, there is, a, uh, <clears throat> there is one more, which is actually the simplest of all, which is uh, basically you change the method signature to give you only messages nothing else in the first one we saw we said hey we want messages but instead of giving all the information that you gave us in the consumer record just give me the partition and offset or you know or you can here you can also specify timestamp uh, your key and everything uh, this one gives you pretty much everything uh, so in this one we're saying hey don't give us anything uh, just give me what the actual message is message is so let me show you that as well. I won't be configuring. I won't be talking about all the uh, different method signature method signatures available. I just want to show you a few flavors, or uh, which you'll be using uh, most mostly most of the time. Uh, <clears throat> so in this one, we said just give us messages. So all it all it's going to give you the just the messages. Uh, so this is the spring uh, consumer. Uh, you don't have to have, in our case, I'm walking you through the batch consumer because it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more advanced than regular consumer. I'm assuming you're already familiar with the regular consumer. Uh, uh, so so that, that covers this in this video, um, all the spring Kafka, the basic Kafka stuff. Uh, in case if you want to do just regular consumer, all you have to do is basically you don't need this here. Uh, and then instead of list, you're just going to do string message if, if that's your type, uh, whatever type is. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, in the next video, we'll uh, talk about uh, a little bit more advanced topics uh, on, uh, uh, on Kafka. Uh, exception handling, how do we do uh, uh, testing? How do we uh, design our projects? Um, what is rebalancing, brokers, zookeepers? Uh, all that stuff, but mostly focusing on development and architecture uh, elements of it. 
Now, and uh, as we go through different videos, I'll be making uh, videos on uh, not only this Kafka, uh, Kafka uh, on uh, uh, Amazon, uh, Azure, and the different uh, event and messaging systems, uh, Firehose, and everything else. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.